Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are going to add Redux Toolkit into our application. So let's get started. Go to this website and jump over to Quick Start menu. Then you need to install these packages. I've already installed them. Then we need to create a store into our application. So this is a sample code. Just copy this code. And let's create a store file into our root directory. And copy this here. Now next we need to provide this store to our application so for that we will be using a provider component so we will be just copying this and use it into our app.js and we need to wrap this provider around the navigation so we will be using store that we just created and we need to wrap this around the navigation like this okay so it says not a valid reducer because we haven't created any so let's uh, move to the reducers and create a slice we already have a counter slice component here so we'll just copy this just copy this whole component and let's create our slices we will have two slices restaurant slice and a card slice okay so let's move to restaurant slice and uh, first we need to change this to restaurant slice so let's just change this and the name should be restaurant we'll be using a restaurant value so let's just change this to restaurant and by default this has to be null like this okay so these are the reducers plus actions so we won't be needing all of them let's just remove these and change this to set restaurant like this and we'll pause a restaurant and set the restaurant value to action dot payload we also need to export this so let's remove these and export set restaurant okay so the last thing we need to add is add a function that returns us this restaurant so let's create a select restaurant method this will receive the root state and uh, from the root state we can call this restaurant slice and then return the restaurant value like this okay so this is finished now let's just copy this whole slice into card slice let's change these values we will have card items as an empty array initially so let's change this to card slice and the name should be card now let's change this to add to card and we will have three actions so let's just copy this and changes to remove from card and empty card okay so in the first action we will add the item to items so let's just create a new array with old items and add the action dot payload that will be the new item now let's implement remove from card feature and the first thing we need to do is store all the card items so let's create a variable new card and we'll store all the items and now we need to find the index of the item that we need to remove so we'll use find index and we need to match the id of the item so let's match it to action dot payload dot id like this and if we find the item that means if the index is greater than or equal to zero that means the item is found then we remove the item otherwise we'll just show a message so we will just splice this new card and remove that item from the array item index and one okay so otherwise we will just message that can't remove the item that is not added to the card okay so then we need to set this new card as well so item should be new card okay so what happens is we have all the card items and then we find the index of the item that we want to remove and then we remove it and then we update the items so in the empty card we will just set the items to empty array like this now we need to export these actions as well so let's add them here remove from card and empty card like this okay so uh, the same thing that we did in the restaurant slice we need to add some functions that will select the card data so let's add a select card items method this will receive a root state and we will return the card items so card dot items like this we'll have another method to select the items by id so select card items by id and we'll pass the state and the id 
this will return a filtered array of all the items that matches this id item not id should be id okay so the last thing we need to add is the card total so we will just calculate all the card items and then return a value let's add a function select card total and we'll pass the state then we need to calculate the price of all the items we will use a reduce method which will have a previous value as total and then the current iteration item and we will return the total equals total plus the item price and the initial value for this total value should be zero so what this will do is it iterate through all of the items and update this total variable and then return the total price okay so let's add these reducers to our store card slice and restaurant slice now we need to move to the restaurant screen and when user moves to the restaurant we need to set the restaurant data here so let's move to the restaurant screen and we will dispatch an action here uh, let's use a use effect hook so that when component mounts we will set the restaurant data in redux so like here we will use the dispatch hook dispatch the hook is called use dispatch now we will check if the restaurant has the data and id restaurant uh, sorry item and the item id is there then we will set the restaurant into redux we can set the restaurant like this we will use our set restaurant action that we created earlier so this is a set restaurant action as you can see we are exporting it here so now we need to pass the item as an object so we'll pass the item like this and this will set the restaurant into a redux now whenever user moves to the restaurant screen the, use, the restaurant is being set into a redux and now we can use that so we will use the restaurant data here to show the restaurant name so let's move to the card screen and we will use a use selector hook this returns us a root state and from the root state we can get the restaurant slice like state dot restaurant this is the restaurant slice and another restaurant will be the restaurant value so we can use it like this or we can use our own method that we created select restaurant this will work the same because we still passing the root state and returns the restaurant data so when i save this you will you won't see any change because we are still using the dummy data but we are saving it into the redux and then using it from the redux so moving next now we need to add the restaurant data here because when you click on this pin you will see the restaurant data is being used here so let's move to the delivery screen and we need to remove this dummy data and use the use selector hook to get the restaurant from our redux state we we'll pass the same method select restaurant now we are getting the restaurant from our redux uh, let's cancel this order and try again this order okay so this is all working fine and when you click on this you will see the restaurant data that is being pulled out from the redux so next we're going to work on this area we need to show the icon when there are any items in the card so we make a check in the card icon screen and let's make a check if there are no items we will just return from here we will use a select card items method like this this will return us all the card items and we will check if the card items length is zero uh, then we will return from here okay so you can see the card icon is gone because there are no items in the card so let's move to dish row and add the functions to these buttons let's add a method on press handle increase and let's add a handle decrease method here now we need to define these methods and then increase and let's just copy this and it'll decrease okay now we need to dispatch an action here so we'll use our use dispatch hook and we already have the item data so we will just dispatch the action add to cart and we'll pass the item here
okay so now we also need to dispatch remove from card so let's dispatch that action remove from card and we need to pass the item id like this okay so this should be working now so let's test them now when i press this you will see the card icon because we are actually adding these items to the redux so let's show the total items we will use use selector and we will use our action called select card items by id and we need to pass the state and the id of the item like this and this will return us the total items for this id now we can use this to show the total items length okay so now when i press this this will increase the total items as you can see and when i remove this this will decrease the items this is working as expected but now we need to disable the minus button and there is no item in the card so let's add a property disabled and this will be true when there are no total items so now when i remove all the items you can see this icon is disabled so this is all working as expected now we need to move to the card icon and show the card items and the total value so let's move to the card icon first we will show the number of items in the card so we'll use the card items length card items dot length this will show the total card items then we will use the total card price and for that we need to import this as well card total use selector and we already have a function select card total we'll use this and we'll choose the card total here now this screen is finished because we're using all the data from the redux now when i remove or add anything this will update the card icon and these these items are coming from the redux so next we need to move to the card screen and we need to display all these items from the card so let's move to the card screen and we need to get the card items and the card total so let's add them here card items you can use our own method card select card items and similarly we need to get the card total now to display all the items we need to format them into groups because for right now all of the items are in one array so we will use the use effect hook we will format them into an object where each key will contain a list of items with the same ids so let's create a state for grouped items by default this will be an empty object now we will use the reduce method on all the items to make the groups for each item this will return us the previous value and the current iteration and the by default value for the group will be an empty object now we'll check if the key in that group has a value or not if it doesn't have a value then we will create an array with that item and we will push that item to this array like this and if it does have a value then we will just simply push this item to the existing array that will create a group of all the items with the same id okay so the result we get will have all the ids as the keys and each key will have a list of items with the same ids so let's just set it to the grouped items like this now we can use this to display the items uh, we will remove these and we will use a function called object.entries this will return us an array of arrays in which we will get the key value pairs and in each key value pair the key will be the id and the value will be the list of items with that id so let's use them here okay so first let's use the key here we'll remove the index and use the key here now using the items value we can display how many items are in the card so let's move this dummy data and use the items dot length here to display how many items are in the card okay so to use this dish well, let's use the first object in the items okay so when i save this you will see all of this data is now getting from the redux and not this dummy data so let's add more data and view our card 
now all of this data is coming from the redux and it's correct now let's implement this minus button this will reduce the quantity of the items let's use dispatch method here first we need to import the use dispatch hook like this and uh, now we can use the remove from cart method here to decrease the cart item and we need to pause the id of the item as well okay so hopefully this should all work so when i remove this as you can see the quantity decreased so now when i keep removing the item this will remove all the items from the card so this is all working now let's move to this area and show the total price of the card items so we will use the card total value here this will be the subtotal of the card and when i save this you can see this is already being populated so for the delivery let's add a variable here to add our delivery fee delivery fee will be two and we'll use that here and for the total order price will be the delivery fee plus the card total like this okay so when i save this all of this data will be working so let's move back and add more items let's move this and add four items okay so now this is showing all perfectly fine and all the data is being calculated now let's place this order and uh, this is all working as well now the last thing we need to add is a empty card method so when we cancel this order we need to empty the card so let's move to the delivery screen and we need to make a function on this button so let's just copy this and we will add cancel order and let's define our cancel order method here okay so now we also need to dispatch an action empty card so let's use dispatch method and we will remove all the card items when user cancels this order now when i press this button this will cancel the order and remove all the card items so let's just try this one more time add the items view the card and place the order now let's cancel this and when i move to the restaurant you won't see any card icon because all the card items were removed okay so our redux implementation is done and it's working perfectly fine we are saving all the data to redux this is it for this video in the next video we'll implement sanity and that will be hopefully the last video in this series so do like the video and subscribe the channel see you in the next video